We've drawn it out just long enough, Neil. The England squad has been announced. Oh, lovely. Go on. Um, goalkeepers, Jordan Pickford, Nick Pope, Aaron Ramsdale. Zero surprises there. Defenders, Trent Alexander-Arnold, oh Connor God. Cody, Eric Dyer, Harry Maguire, Luke Shaw, John Stones, Kieran Trippier, Kyle Walker, Ben White. Ben White got in, yeah. That's interesting. Ben White in. Midfielders, Jude Bellingham, Connor Gallagher, Jordan Henderson, Mason Mount, Calvin Phillips and Declan Rice. Uh, and then forwards, uh, Phil Foden, Jack Grealish, Harry Kane, James Madison. Oh, he's in. Yeah. Marcus Rashford, Bakayo Saka, Raheem Sterling, and Callum Wilson made it as well. Yeah, no Tony. I saw that no Ivan Tony. Tony didn't make it. I had to take an Ivan Tony. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so Joe Gomez, no. Uh, anyone else? Joe Nomez, if Joe you will. Nomez, or yeah. no Gomez. No Come Gomez. On. <laughs> there you go. Um, yeah, so, I mean, no real surprise. Trent's got in. <laughs> I probably got in because of Reese James's injury, yes. which okay, you know. Listen, he he suffered that fate with the Euros, didn't he? Got got, got an injury and, and missed out on that potential making an impact in that tournament. So great, great for Trent. I'm sure he'll be delighted, and I'm I'm pretty sure we'll see him do something at the World Cup where we all go, oh, brilliant! Yeah. He'll play a pass in, in a game where he's or take a free kick or put a cross in. Um, and Jordan Henderson was always going to go. So yeah. I'm pleased for James Madison to be honest. Uh, you know, I'm I've not I wouldn't say I was quick to the party with James Madison. I, I didn't really take to him when he was a younger player, potentially, but I don't think you can argue with him. I watched him against Everton last Saturday, albeit in a pub. Um and he's, why would you not have taken him personally, you know? Yeah. It's a it's a there's a there's a great move there just in terms of the PR of it yeah. all. I mean yeah. It's funny, I do look at the England squad though, and particularly having just kind of flashed up at the French squad earlier, um, and when you actually see it all laid out, it's like, not quite sure that's the squad. That, you know, when people are critiquing Gareth Southgate playing three at the back and two holding midfielders, and they're going, well, look at the talent they've got available to them. Like, uh, I'm uh, the same. I, 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 heard, I listened to uh, Joe Cole's... Um, it's called Joe Colcast. Yeah, with uh, with Rio Ferdinand, with fake microphones on the table. By the way, don't know if anyone's onto that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Really I, I, say I listen, so I don't want. Yeah, oh, yeah. the sound isn't great actually. To be fair, yeah. um, but he, they were talking and saying it's a it's a crime if England don't win something with this group of players. Now, I, I did sort of think, I actually think they're doing re reasonably well at tournaments with this group of players because. Like you say, I mean, you've just read out those defenders. I mean, Eric, we saw Eric Dyer last Sunday. We've seen Harry Maguire's problems, Connor Cody's, Connor Cody, you know, a good player. Yeah. But limited, you know, Ben White sort of, yeah, but Ben White, he's a sort of playing right back for Arsenal at the start of the season. I wouldn't say he's a sort of, he's established himself as a top class player anywhere yet. And then Kyle Walker, you know, right, right back who's been injured, Trent, who they don't seem to fancy. And trip, you know, it's not. It isn't a case of like, wow, this is this is some sort of decisions Gareth's got to make. It, it's actually more sort of, God, like you've got, it's worries about players more more so than sort of having too many good players in in certain positions. Yeah, and again, we'll we'll see how they do. And ultimately, I have no great emotional attachments, so it doesn't really bother me. Provided, <laughs> my 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 only thing with it, and I've had I, this is, this has always been the Liverpool fan in me, is I want the world to recognise how good our players are yeah. so I want them to succeed for England but I don't want them to have any ownership over them because it opens them up to a world of like opinion so you know we had this where and you know we become you become England's player mm -hmm. so every Tom Dick and Addy Owen sport. lost a little bit of that with it's, Liverpool yeah, the exactly. Arsenal. He definitely that 98 but, yeah. but you're right I mean I was thinking about this so you asked me about it I can't remember someone asked me about World Cup memories and it was, it was someone from work actually it's just in a, in a sort of a, a round table thing we were talking and he said oh it won't be anything to do with England but you and I said oh it is I said it is I said my me, me favourite World Cup moment ever is Michael Owen's goal against Argentina I said it had nothing to do with England it was because it was Michael Owen yeah. and it was because it was he it was, was just, such a sense of pride at the time yeah, wasn't it yeah. that we had this little gem and he was yeah. going and we, we everyone got to see what we'd been watching and it, all and year it was, and also it was like it was a it, it wasn't a surprise to us in the sense of like it wasn't it was a surprise to the world because they were like that but it was almost like we told you he was going to do something like that like look, we, we've seen it you know like he does this you know it'd be, it'd, like it'd be like now it'd be like Trent whipping in a free kick or you know in a, in, a, yeah. in the World Cup final we'd be like yeah you know, we, we know we know he does that like yeah he'll, he'll do that all day if you, if you give, him, give him time and the chance to but My, it's the anxiety around it for me is that 
because I said it's a double edged sword and when they succeed and I, I want it because I want Trent to be I want it it's like, like you're saying with the Bobby Firmino thing you need you need those big moments on the world mm. stage like Salah doesn't get the Ballon d'Or because he doesn't win AFCON mm. and he doesn't win the Champions League if he wins one of or both of those then his chances are in, you know massively yeah. increased because you've got that picture yeah. moment it stands with you forever but with Trent he's so good that he should be he should be able to go and if he's given an opportunity put to bed every single critic that yeah. he's got but because of like but because everyone's going to be waiting with the knives out I, f- I don't know I shouldn't but yeah, I feel yeah. I feel I feel the pressure for him sick. even though he probably won't I, I, I one of me one of the best things about the Euros final <laughs> and listen I was not in a position where I was wanting England to win that final I don't I don't have any. I, I don't care yeah. what people think about that. But I was so pleased when Jordan Henderson went off before the shootout. It just <laughs> took away that anxiety of don't you miss that? Because I thought he would as well. He, yeah. He's a penalty. He's a penalty. Well, do you remember it, Jamie Carragher's in two thousand six yeah. scores? It has to retake yeah. it. Misses it. Brilliant. There yeah, we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd missed in the yeah. same one. Didn't yeah. you? Yeah. you know, I, I just it did. It was one of those. Don't be you. Don't be you that the nation turns yeah. on. You know, and, and and then you end up being the the, the the front page or the the Pizza Hut advert. You know yes. that kind of you're defined by that missing a penalty. Listen, I'd like to think that the, the three lads who did actually miss it aren't defined by that. I think that might be say a little bit to the change in the yeah. in the mentality in, in terms of that. But yeah, it did. I, I was pleased not to have that. Worry Jordan that shootout when I was worrying enough whether England were going to win it. Good for Jordan though, you know. Again, it'll be it's probably well, you know, he might well make a Euro squad in, in two years. We'll see, but it's certainly going to be his last World Cup. You'd, you'd imagine. You'd, you'd have thought so, and I think you know his, his form hasn't been great as it, but I think he'll be a big, big part of whatever England do be, behind the scenes and on the pitch. You know, he he, he, he was not really a starter, was he in the Euros? I know mm-hmm. he, you know, he did. Start or he scored didn't he, in the um, the, the quarter final. Um, he, I think that he'll be big in terms of setting the tone and obviously being in Jude Bellingham's ear about a potential move to Liverpool. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Agent Agent Hendo, if you yeah, could see, uh, maybe get Declan Rice as well. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just can't wait for the inevitable folks who've been training with his arms, <laughs> up, with them, yeah. big smiles, and everyone just starts rubbing yeah, their hands together. James, on James Madison. Yeah, 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 yeah. Speaking yeah. a lot of him recently. Yeah, yeah, very much. Let's just go. Yeah, K- K- Conor Gallagher and Calvin Phillips and Mason Mount just like <laughs> snarling the way in the, in, in the background. Where Jordan Henderson's table tennis champion team. Yeah, um, brings home brings but, home the dude, I, think I've, I know um, a couple of the Spirit of Shanky lads. Uh, there's a famous picture of them you've ever seen it with Mourinho when he's Manchester United manager, sort of sticking up. <laughs> <laughs> Jude Bellingham with a. Who put this yeah. on me? I want I want the Pepe Reina Cesc Fabregas yeah, moment yeah, where was... we get someone uh, with Jordan and uh, and Trent gang up on Jude and pull it, pull a Liverpool shirt yeah, over him by by hook or by crook. We used to fume about that like about Barca. People used to say that's so disrespectful, wasn't it, with, with that kind of thing? But yeah, we'll take it if it's, if it's Liverpool. If it's Liverpool, yeah, we'll make, we'll make, weird Liverpool make an exception for that. <laughs> hey guys, hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please do drop a like on it and give us a subscription to this YouTube channel as well. If you want even more Liverpool content in your lives, either in podcast or video form, check out redmenplus.com, our subscription service. It's absolutely brilliant and you will love it.